What we have here is something which has been around in the beauty industry forever. You can buy them for about a tenner on eBay. I just bought one to have a play with. Um, they claim to do everything. They claim to remove freckles, moles, verrucas. It's supposed to vaporize the virus off the surface of the skin. How many people here think that the virus sits on the surface of the skin? Because if it did, you could just freaking scrape it off with a freaking scalpel. Am I right? So the mode of action makes no sense. The mode of action demonstrates a profound ignorance about what an HPV infection is and how it works. What's the evidence that is offered? Um, well, that would be none. Uh, there is a case study, which is sort of pretty shaky at best, um, also coincidentally offered by the person who is selling the device. For three thousand pounds, are you? Yeah, 3,000 pounds. So what we have here is something that has no basis in the literature whatsoever, as far as I can find. Um, I was, I've done a literature research, I couldn't find anything. If there's anything out there, I'd love to see it, but I don't think there is. With no rationale for how it works, other than it makes a sparky thing and makes a bit of smoke and makes a bit of superficial heat. For three thousand pounds. If you want to get that, I can't help you. Why do we imagine that this thing has not cropped up in sort of dermatology research very much? Um, it's not like people are not investing millions of pounds in researching treatments for verrucas. Um, Plasma is a way of delivering superficial heat um, to a lesion. Will superficial heat potentially spark a, an inflammatory response? Potentially. Will an inflammatory response potentially um, create a immune response? Potentially. Is it better than any of the other methods that we already have to create an inflammatory response? There's no reason to believe that it is. Um, we've been doing all sorts of things to try and damage tissue for a long time. Why, why would we believe that this one thing which causes a little bit of superficial heat uh, is better in terms of sparking an immune response? Because coincidentally, that's how you get rid of a Veruca. It's a virus. You can't burn it off. You cannot evaporate it off the surface of the skin for Like I said, it, it, if that sounds like a, a great idea to you, then and you've got three thousand pounds burning a hole in your pocket, yeah, crack on by all means, Philip. Oh, whatever. That'd be an interesting conversation to have with your patient, wouldn't it? Hello, Mrs. Smith. We've got this new thing. We want to try on your Veruca. It's going to cost one hundred and twenty pounds to do it. Okay, does it work? Might do. Or you know, has it been used before? No, no, it's not. First time using it. Oh, okay. Did they train you on it at university? No, they didn't. Didn't mention it when I was at um, FHP school. Oh, okay. Is there any evidence that it works? No, no evidence. Okay. Is there any evidence for safety? You know, is there? You know, lots of people have had this done and it's it's been all right. It's not caused any problems, right? Uh, no, no, no evidence for that either. Um, no idea uh, whether or not it's safe. Oh, okay. Um, so, so what? What is it that makes you think that, you know, you spent £3,000 on this. What what makes you think that it's it's worth that? Why should I spend £120 of my money on this treatment? Well, it was on Facebook. And and somebody said that, you know, had a before and after picture. It worked for them on, on Facebook. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Is there any, any other sort of treatments for Verrucas that you've seen on the internet that offer a before and after picture? Yeah, one or two. One or two. Oh, okay. <sighs> mm. 
What this comes down to is not just a personal choice. We are in a position of trust. Our patients trust us. If somebody wants to try eye of newt or pen of plasma uh, or dropping some acid and dancing around naked at midnight around a bonfire smeared in lime flavoured jelly to get rid of your, your own Veruca, feel free. You have every right to do that. It's your body. You can do that. Um, but when we're making decisions for our patients, when we are making decisions for what we're going to advise and offer our patients, we have to do better than a single testimonial from the person selling a device that we read about on Facebook. We've got to be better than that. Can you imagine how you would feel if you went to see your heart surgeon, your vascular surgeon, and he said, right, well, we, you know, we've got this new, this new treatment for you to try for your heart condition. Oh, great. Where did you find out about this treatment? Was it at a conference? Is it a piece, on a piece of published research? No, I've read about it on Facebook. It's going to cost you 120 quid. Might work, probably won't hurt. Don't know if it'll hurt because, you know, no safety trials. But yeah, I'd like to do that to you, please. You, would you do that? No, of course you wouldn't. So why are we asking our patients to do that? It's no better than self-treatment if you're working on that basis. We've got to be better than that. We've got to.